Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can use Goal Seek to get a result based on some criteria that you put into the Goal Seek box. So I've got several examples, I've got a mortgage payment, a profit example, number of loan payments, how many fish dinners do I need to sell, another loan example, and how much stock do I need to sell. So first of all, let's have a look at the formulas that I've got in here. So this one, this is a mortgage payment. You need to use the PMT function. So I'll just show you how that works. If I just delete this one. So equals PMT. Comes up with a little help underneath. So the first thing it's asking is for the rate. Well, the rate is 8%. Now, if you want a monthly figure, you need to divide that by 12, comma, Next, he wants the NPR number of payments, 240, comma, and then it wants the value, present value, which is 35,000. The rest of this I haven't got, so that's all I need for this. Close the bracket, click the tick, and that gives you a figure of minus 292.75. That's what you're paying. That's what the PMT function gives you. This is just a formula, F2 minus F3, to work out your gross profit. Now, the NPR function works in the same way as the PMT one. It's just looking at different parameters. So it is NPR. Let's just delete this one and do this one again. So equals NPR. Open the bracket. So it wants the rate again. Divide it by 12, comma. It wants the payment, which in this case is 425, comma. And then the value, which is 32,000. And then... Tick that one, comes back with a minus 59 payments. Uh, the others, this is the same one, this is a PMT one, um, not a PMT one, an NPR one. This one is just a calculation. You've got um, formula there. We'll just do that one to basically to work out how many dinners you need to sell. And that's a formula one as well. So let's start off on this one. So why are you using Goal Seek? You want to know what happens if you change some of these parameters. How will it affect the resulting cell? Now, for goal seek to work, you have to have a formula in the resulting cell. So we've already gone through this one. This is the PMT formula, but at the moment I'm paying 292. Let's say what happens if I pay this quicker. So instead of just doing it over 240 payments, let's say I can pay that quicker. Or let's say I can pay this pay more money off on this. So let's do the first one. So you start off in this yellow cell and you go to the tools tab and go seek. And it's saying there set this cell. So let's say that I can pay more than that. So if I go minus 350 and the variable cell is a number of payments. So if I pay more, that's going to go down. But how by how many? Let's click OK. Yes, it has got a result. It's gone down to 165 monthly payments, get rid of the decimal places. So that's gone down quite a lot by me just paying £58 more. So it's quite a useful one to look at your mortgage payments or any loan payment really. If you pay more than you have to, the number of payments are going to come down quite a lot. Now this one, let's say I want to earn 56000 What have I got to reduce? Now I've only got two options here. So if I just activate Goal Seek, let's go to Goal Seek. So again, the yellow cell, I've got the yellow cell selected. I want that to be 56,000 56, by changing the cost of sales. So if I want 56,000 pounds of profit, click OK. I need to drop that to 67,000, which is OK. It's not too bad. This is the NPR one. So let's say I want to pay this off in 40 payments. If I do that, obviously the payment's going to have to go up. So let's see by how much. So again, we'll go get Goal Seek Tools, Goal Seek. So let's say we're going to pay this off in minus 40, 40 payments by pay more. Click OK. Yes. I'm going to have to pay 677 quid. So that's a quite a lot more if I want to hit the 40 target. Now I'll do this NPR one as well. That's the same sort of one. Let's say um, I want to pay this off in less time. So if I pay this off in, say, 60 months, does it, how does that reduce this? So if let's go, get Goal Seek. 
goal seek. So to a target value of 60, and the variable cell is going to be the number of payments. And that's going to go from 250 to 202. Well, that's not too bad. Obviously, overall, you'll be paying quite a lot. This one is you want to know how many fish, cakes, and tea, or tea and cakes you need to sell to break even. Let's say you need to make £90,000 to break even. Let's have a look at this one. So go tools, go seek. Um, to a target value of 90,000, one, two, three, by changing this blank cell. So you need to sell 16,363. I'll just get rid of the decimal places on that. And that's how many you need to sell if you want to make 90,000 based at that price. So, and the same would be for fish dinners, it would work exactly the same. I'm not going to do the fish dinners one, but that's how Goal Seek works. So hopefully you found this, this little video useful. Thank you for your time, and I'll see you on the next one.